In the world of real estate, you hear a lot of stories. Stories about finding hidden treasure in the walls or turning a forgotten shack into a palace. But you also hear horror stories. And this one is a classic. It's about a house flipper who let greed get the best of him. And the lesson is one he learned the hard way. It's the story of the house that sank. So this flipper buys a decent property, but in real estate, size matters. He wanted to add more square footage to boost the value. The problem was, he couldn't build up, and he couldn't build out because of zoning laws. His only option was to go down. He looked at the dusty four-foot-tall crawl space under the house and saw an opportunity, a brand new, full-height, eight-foot basement. Now, turning a crawl space into a basement is a totally normal, if tricky, renovation. It's a process called underpinning. Basically, you have to support the existing house while you carefully dig out the dirt underneath it, section by section, and build a new, deeper foundation. It's a delicate dance with gravity and it requires a lot of concrete, a lot of skill, and a lot of time. And as we all know, time is money. This is where our flipper's greed took over. Underpinning is slow, and it's expensive. He saw the bill for the engineers in the concrete, and decided he could do it faster and cheaper. So he told his construction crew to forget the careful process. His instructions were simple. Just dig fast. So they did. They brought in excavators and started scooping out all the dirt right next to the old foundation walls. They were literally removing the very ground that was holding the entire house up. For a few days, it seemed like a genius move. The house just hung there, seemingly defying gravity. The crew kept digging, creating a massive pit right under the home. But soil isn't solid rock. It has a breaking point. That breaking point came at 3 o'clock in the morning. The neighbors said it sounded like a train had derailed and crashed right next door. With all the supporting dirt gone, the old foundation walls had nothing left to hold them. They simply collapsed and slid into the giant hole the crew had dug. The house didn't just get a few cracks. The entire structure broke its back. The main support beam snapped in half with a deafening crack. The brick chimney tore away from the side of the house. Every door and window frame warped, jamming them shut. When the city engineers showed up the next morning, they took one look and knew it was over. They didn't write up a repair order. They wrote a demolition order. The house was condemned. In an attempt to save maybe $10,000 on a proper underpinning job, the flipper completely destroyed a half-million-dollar asset. The house had to be torn down to the ground. All because he got greedy and cut the wrong corner. The lesson here is pretty brutal, and it's one that applies to more than just houses. Never, ever dig the ground out from under your own feet. Thanks for watching. If you found this story as wild as I did, hit that like button and subscribe for more tales from the wild world of construction and real estate. See you next time.